Let's talk dimensional analysis, also known as the factor label method. We want to convert a starting unit into a new unit. For example, a person's weight is 154 pounds. We want to know how many kilograms this is. In order to do this, we are going to use dimensional analysis or the factor label method. That is, we take an equality, we write a conversion factor from that equality, and then we use that to cancel the units we don't want to get to the units we do want. So in this case, we want to go pounds to kilograms. We have two pieces of information. One pound is equal to 454 grams. We also know from previous lectures that there are 1,000 grams in one kilogram. So we have two pieces of information here. The equal sign tells us that this is inequality, i.e. one pound equals 454 grams. Those two things are the same thing. And 1,000 grams equals one kilogram. They are equal to each other, therefore they are in equality. We can use these to write conversion factors, which enable us to cancel out the units that we don't want in favor of the ones that we do. Information that we have. We have two pieces. We have pounds and grams as an equality, and we have grams to kilograms. Okay. To start with, we can't use the grams to kilograms because our starting unit is in pounds. Therefore, grams and kilograms don't help us. It's pounds we want to get rid of. Our other piece of information here has pounds and grams in it. So let's write a conversion factor from this equality that will enable us to cancel out the pounds and end up with grams. So we are going to multiply our 154 pounds by a conversion factor. On the bottom, we're going to put one pound, since that is what we want to get rid of. On the top, we will put 454 grams. Now, because in our initial unit, the pounds are in the top, and in our conversion vector that we just wrote, the pounds are in the bottom, the pounds cancel, leaving us with grams. But we don't want an answer in grams, we want an answer in kilograms. So let's look at our second piece of information. 1,000 grams equals one kilogram. What do we want to get rid of? We want to get rid of the grams. So we're going to put grams on the bottom. Now, because grams are on the top here and grams are on the bottom here, they cancel, leaving us with kilograms. So let's pull out our calculators and take a look and see what this is. So if you type into your calculator 154 times 454, you get the number of grams. Then if you divide that by 1,000, you get kilograms. So typing this into my calculator, I got 69.916 kilograms. However, we know from past lectures that we don't necessarily want to report every single number that the calculator gives us. Instead, we want to look at significant figures. Our first number, 154 pounds, has three significant figures. Our second, grams to pounds, the 454 has three significant figures. And then, of course, in our final, we're going between grams and kilograms. That is within the same system of measurement, so we don't count those. So we have three significant figures times three significant figures. This is multiplication. Therefore, our answer should have three significant figures. One, two, three. Here is our cutoff. The one after the nine indicates that we are not going to round up. So our final answer is 69.9 kilograms.